Okay, so I'm going to plant some basil today. I have a basil blend from West Coast Seeds. It is purple basil and green basil all mixed together. So what I've got from my mix here, from my soil mix, I've already pre-filled my trays so I don't bore you guys with watching me fill the trays because who wants to watch that? Definitely not me and probably not you. So what I've got in here is Pro Mix with Mycorrhizae. Used it last year, it was amazing, worked really well. And I've got some of my compost down here that I've added in as well, save some from the garden. And I added some eggshells that I ground up for a little bit of calcium, see if that helps, give it a little bit of boost or anything. So what I'll do, I'll start planting the basil, I'll move the camera up so you guys can see a nice close-up of it. So it says to start in indoors in early April, but I'm always fine. I have a, it takes a long time for me to get it going, so I'm starting some right now in January. So hopefully I can have some basil for eating sooner than that. So here we go. And the basil seed is really, really small. It's really hard to see, so we'll... I'm gonna plant, try to do all 72 trays I have here, or plugs I have here. And hopefully the germination, I'll probably end up putting a few in each just because they're so small. Hard to do one at a time here. And with basil, I think it's okay to have a few per plug anyways. Doesn't hurt. It's hard to tell where you planted them because they're so small and the dirt's they're the same color. So making sure when you're seeding you're going in rows, making sure you know which ones you've done already so you don't overseed. And basil likes to warm as well, so I'll have my heat pads on as well to help them germinate. Definitely done more than 72 seeds. So it's alright though. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of dirt, sprinkle a little bit over top, not too much. It says to plant them really shallowly. Sorry, hard to say that. Just quick top layer on it, just to lightly cover them. So there we go, nice and easy. I'm just gonna put a bit of water on the bottom, so I haven't got my sprayer ready to top dampen them. So we'll just. Water them from the bottom here. Fill it up quite a ways. And as well, once I put it on the heat tray, we'll hop and the water will warm up and get a little bit of evaporation and it'll probably get some condensation on the top. So we'll move this over. So I've got my lid here, I'll pop on. I got the heat pads already turned on, already warmed up. I got my lights nice and close. You want to keep them as close as possible. So once I take the lids off, I'll probably lower the lights down a bit closer so the plants don't get too leggy. If they get too leggy, then they don't grow so as well and they're a little weaker. Hey guys, so today I'm going to transplant some of my basil that I planted about two weeks ago into bigger pots. I've got some of my paper, paper pots here that I made. I'll post a video how I made those and why I use them. And I'm going to transplant a few into just regular pots so I can sell some of them. So, I've got some purple basil and green basil here. They're looking pretty good for the most part. So I'm just gonna do a few today. I'm gonna let some of them grow a bit more. Some of them are kind of smaller. These ones almost have three true leaves, so uh, hopefully the root system is big enough. If, no, if not, then I'll wait another few days to a week until the root system gets big enough into the cell so it does, uh, so it's nice and strong. So I'm using these hexagon ones, which are kind of nice. They're pretty, a lot easier to use. I find you just press on the bottom and they pop up quite, e quite easily. I like to grab the little plants and to like them up. And there's a pretty good root system already. So, this one I'll probably just separate so the plants are separated so I can get two per pot. And once, I've a pre, I have pre-filled the pots as well too to make it easier. And then got my Pro Mix here. Just add some in. Packing it a little lightly. It smells really nice too, the small basil here, so can't wait for it to grow nice and big so I can start using some of it myself. So I'm not packing it too hard and just packing it lightly there. And there we go, there's two guys there. We'll grab this next big one here. Now I could probably wait another few more days before I transplant it. The roots look like they could use 
a little bit more growing, but it's all right there. And I'll find another big one here. The germination rate was pretty good on this basil, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to do two basil per pot, and I'll probably sell them for like three bucks each. Pretty good uh, return, I think. And as well, I'll keep these guys under the heat, uh, heat pads and under the lights as well, so they keep growing. Over here. And for the paper pots too, I'm just going to fill up them. I usually fill up paper pots about a quarter of the way. Depending on what I'm doing, if it's tomatoes, I'll fill them a little less and then keep the stem for the tomatoes down there. But for the basil thing, I'll just do about halfway there. Using this purple basil here. Just set her in there. It's probably a lot easier too if the soil's dry, so the soil doesn't fall apart when you're uh, trying to transplant them here. So there's that guy there. And a good thing about these paper plot pots too is once they get nice and big, all I do in the garden, I'll dig a hole in the garden, take the tape off, drop it in, cover it with dirt, and then it's good to go. You're not disturbing the roots at all, so it, uh, there's no shock tra or no transplant shock with the plants when you're doing it this way. So far, I've had pretty good success with it. I've been doing it for about three or four years now. So. This guy here looks pretty big, these two guys. And I find that you can grow, grow basil fairly close, a few plants together, and they still do quite well. So there we go, there's transplanting my basil. I'm gonna let these guys sit a bit, a few more days to get a little bigger and stronger, and then I'll come finish the rest. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, have a great day. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. Please spread it around to anybody that's interested in gardening and learning new ways to garden and easier ways to garden. Uh, happy gardening and we'll see you guys later.